Hey everybody, thanks for visiting artofpodcasting.com. This is Logic Pro for Podcasters, Quick and Dirty Secrets. And today, I'm going to show you how to remove background noise from an audio track. So let's get started. Okay, I'm inside the DAW and I've got my multiple audio tracks here. I'm going to isolate the track that has a problem with an S. So I'm just going to click on this. This is the track I'm working on. And the first thing we want to do is remove line noise. And to give you an idea, if you focus your attention right here, you'll see there's no speaking. This little area in the audio strip should, technically speaking, it should be quiet. But watch what happens when I play through this area. If you look at the output, you'll see there is output noise. And you'll also hear a constant like a shh, that sort of a thing. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go over to the gate. And I am going to, I'm going to turn this back first of all. I'm going to click on the gate. And then I'm going to adjust the threshold. And I'm going to continue to raise the threshold uh, minimum. And when we hit the point where this light turns off, you should hear strip silence. So let's go ahead and do that now. Right there, light turned off between 39 and 40. I've got strip silence. And if you look at the output, you'll now see there is no output line level whatsoever. So mission successful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click the bypass on and off. And as I toggle through these, you should be able to hear the difference that that makes on a side by side basis. So here we go. That's without using the gate. And that's the gate on. Pretty good difference there. Now let's take a look at the gate settings real quick. I don't adjust anything here. I just pop open the gate inside of Logic. Everything on the bottom, I just keep it as is. The things that I will adjust, and unfortunately there's no secret recipe here because every track is different. The things you'll have to worry about are the threshold, the attack, the hold, and the release. I will set a fast attack right at one millisecond, and I will always set the hold somewhere between 30 and 50, right in there. And once I've got the attack and the hold where I want them, then it's just a matter of adjusting the threshold and the release. So I would say 90% of your time, you're going to be moving between this and back to this. I keep the release longer. That prevents the gate from crashing and you don't get that chopped off audio noise. You really want to have a, a slow release for good quality sound. And that's pretty much the settings for the gate. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the expander and I'm going to do my best to improve the speech that you see here. Now with this recording, it was recorded by a guest that was on a laptop. They didn't have a USB headset. So as you can imagine, we've got background noise, we've got a computer fan, and because it was on Wi-Fi, there's I mean, the connection is just not very good. So I'll let you listen to this. And what you're listening for is not the volume level, but concentrate on what you're hearing in the background. So let's play that now. Um, the, the population is that great that they can't afford or they, they can't feed the population. So they're moving further afield and they're buying up in Australia. You should hear that, that high pitch whine. You should hear that there's, you know, some distractions in the background the overall clarity, it's its kind of mudded up. Let me play it a little more. Um, the, the population's that great that they can't afford, or they, they can't feed the population, so they're moving further afield and they're buying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an expander to the track, and what the expander does is it lowers the sound floor and expands the good, the good audible sound that we want. And that's what you're doing. You're not eliminating the bad sound you're just masking it so i want to raise the good volume and hopefully that creates enough separation to where i don't hear the bad stuff if that makes sense so when i open up the expander these are the settings that i use i use a fast attack 
and a fast release. The gain you'll have to mess with depending on your audio track. For me, I keep it somewhere in the middle between nine and six usually. And as it plays through, you'll wanna adjust this. I don't adjust the knee. I keep that at factory. I keep the auto gain light clicked. And then the ratio, again, you'll have to move this back and forth and just experiment with it. I have found that usually somewhere in the middle to somewhere in here is usually a pretty good starting point. And then I'll also adjust the threshold. So there's a, there's a couple things on the expander that you'll have to tweak and just go back and forth with. Again, there's no secret recipe because every audio track is going to have a different amount of volume that you'll have to contend with. So let me play this through and I'm going to turn on the expander and you'll be able to hear the difference. You'll notice the audio quality uh, will improve, but the overall sound floor will get a little more quiet. And that's because I'm cutting out all that bad audible noise that we don't want to hear. So let's go ahead and play it through. Um, that the population is that great that they can't afford or they, they can't feed the population. So they're moving further. And you can further. see that's where it's on. In Australia in particular, they're, they're buying up huge wheat farms. Not just, Well, not just wheat farms, but they're buying up huge. Now, again, let me go back. That the population is that great that they can't afford or they, they can't feed the population. So they're moving further afield and they're buying up. In Australia in particular, they're, they're buying up. Now, you can hear that there's still some background noise, but it's not nearly as prevalent. So what I'll do now is I'm going to click both these off so we can compare the original track to the improved variant here. So let's play it through. Um, that the population is that great that they can't afford or they, they can't feed the population. So they're moving further afield and they're buying up, in Australia in particular, they're, they're buying up huge wheat farms. Not just, Well, not just wheat farms, but they're buying up huge agricultural farms, and horticultural farms, and a lot of that. Now what you can do to make this track a little more or actually add loudness is you can just go in, maybe add a compressor to this particular channel, or you can go in and add some line level volume. Uh, you can do that by just increasing the gain on that particular channel. So there's a couple of ways to get the volume back. And again, you'll just need to experiment with that. But I hope you like the demonstration. That is the expander and using the noise gate, one in conjunction with the other. And like I said, if you want great audio, the real secret is getting the recording right the first time as opposed to going back and making corrections. So hope you enjoyed the video. We've got more in the series and I'll provide a link at the end of this video. Thanks for stopping by.